Hello, hello, hello to all of you beautiful, beautiful people. I hope you all had a great week. It's Friday morning, it's 9 a.m. And I think it's time for us to get into another PowerPoint video. Our fourth PowerPoint video, it's exciting. So this video is gonna be talking about how to create a visual impact with your step-by-step -step processes or processes or however you wanna pronounce it using a ribbon model. And what I mean by the ribbon is this shape right here. Here, that shape right there it gives it the ribbon twirl effect so why do I want to teach you guys how to create this model well if you're in the professional space whether it's professional services or in you know in your academic career or whatever it might be it is almost certain that at some point you will be asked to create a step-by-step -step model for your audience right to enjoy whether it's you know um, for corporate strategy or, or even making you know a, a recipe for something it doesn't really matter um, you will be asked to do that this video is going to teach you how to create a visual impact with your logic so what that means is it's going to help the audience pace themselves right uh, it creates it it gives it that sleek modern crisp effect for people to follow so they go with step one all right yeah i understood step one and then they just jump to step two rather than having bullet points and a wall of text to, to go through every uh, everywhere it's it's much more let's say um calmer to the eyes or softer to the eyes uh for the audience before getting into this video just remember the shortcuts are all right here on the bottom left of my screen you can follow it if you need to see what I'm clicking on or what I'm pressing on my keyboard or whatever it might be now the main idea of this video is to create the shape right here right this shape right here I'll even change the color a bit so it stands out from the crowd where am I there we go so this shape right here is our go-to this is what's gonna create the ribbon model effect Unfortunately, that shape isn't in PowerPoint. It is in a sense that like, you know, you can make a parallelogram or whatever it's called. My, my shapes deceive me. But um, that shape, unfortunately, is not there. We're going to have to make that shape. But it's actually pretty easy to make that shape. Uh, and once you have it, you can actually save it and use it for future uh, templates as well. So yeah, we have that to go with. How to make that shape? You're going to need to make a square with the dimensions listed here. It's 4.46 width and 2.72 height for inches and 11.33 width and 6.91 height for centimeters. Uh, and then you're gonna have to make a triangle. I remember use this triangle here with a 90 degree angle at the uh, bottom right. Uh, it is 4.46 and 1.61 inches in height and 11.33 uh, in width and 4.1 in height in centimeters now the important thing about this shape right here is that when you bring it in onto your canvas by clicking on insert going to shapes and then basic shapes and you see this little triangle right here stretch it out first of all make sure it doesn't have an outline click on format shape outline no outline make sure all your shapes in this video do not have an outline fyi okay and then what you want to do is you want to flip it horizontally so for example you click on home click on um arrange click on rotate and then flip horizontally and then you have that shape right there and if you want to know how to put input the figures which you should know by now because i taught you in another video but i'll teach you anyway because i like you guys a lot we're going to go to click on well, once you're clicking the triangle click on format um and here you just change the figures to whatever it might be so over here it's going to be let's say four point no sorry 1.61 height and that's going to be four point or six inches and then there you go it should be you know something very similar to this okay now what are we gonna do we are going to make the ribbon shape effect by using this triangle and this square first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make a blank canvas as always we're gonna delete this text right here and we are going to move this triangle onto this square and make sure that the sides are perfectly touching the sides of the square like so do okay that looks good enough I think yep and then we're going to just copy paste the triangle we're going to on the home tab clicking on arrange clicking on align and then sorry on a rotate and then we're going to click on flip horizontal and then we're going to click on arrange again click on rotate again and click on flip vertical and already you can see the ribbon shape come to life looks pretty cool eh all right so now what? Well, 
when you click on this shape right here, what we're going to do is we're going to click on format and click on edit shape and then edit points. These two corners that you see, the bottom right corner and the top left corner have to be brought down so that they match the square, uh, sorry, of, or what's left of the square uh, in the canvas. So we're going to bring down this point here all the way down and bring it just like so, like that. Let's just bring that up there. It doesn't have to be perfect, guys. It does not have to be perfect. I'm saying that again, it does not have to be perfect. Don't waste your time making things perfect. And then bring it back, bring that thing back up here, okay? And then you're done. Look, there it is. Look how cool that is. You just made a shape on PowerPoint. How cool is that? Not many people know that trick, actually. So you don't need these two triangles anymore. And you have this and you can just like, you know, you can bring it back up, you can stretch it out, you can move it to the left, you can move it to the right, whatever it might be. So the purpose of this video now is we're going to make a square or a, sorry, a rectangle by clicking on shapes and clicking on the rectangle option and just making a long rectangle like so. That looks fine, I think. Um, and then you're going to bring this ribbon shape here and you're just going to place it just under the um, rectangle and make sure that the corners of the right here are touching just barely like so the corner of the of the ribbon that you just made there is just touching the corner of the rectangle as you can see here yeah now what you're going to do is you're going to click on the rectangle hold control hold shift and move down the rectangle as you can see here and then move it to the right a bit. I'm just going to move mine over here. Again, I'm holding shift. Remember, shift makes you move things left and right a lot easier than just like, you know, uh, holding down the, the left uh, mouse key and just moving it around, right? So let's just say I want this here, okay? You're going to bring in the ribbon like so. And there you go. There's your first step-by-step -step model. And all you have to do now is just you have to click on the ribbon click on the bottom rectangle copy paste and just do this thing again but you're like oh but wait you know the the ribbon now is on top of the square the, the sky is falling help me help me don't worry i'm just going to show you how to do that right now when you click on these two shapes right here and you have them both highlighted you just click on format send backward sent to back there you go ladies and gentlemen right and then you want to just keep on doing that however many times you would like. So I'm just going to bring that down here as well. And we have a four step ribbon. There you go. Now click on the all the elements here press Control G to group them up, click on Arrange, click on Align, and then click on Align Center so it's perfectly in the middle of your PowerPoint presentation. What I want to stress is if you're not satisfied with the way it looks, you can always change it. So if, for example, let me just make a new slide so I can go back to this one later. Um, if, for example, you don't like the way it looks here and you want to make your rectangle smaller, that's absolutely fine. Uh, all you have to do really is let's just say you want to delete this. Let's say you want to move this. Sorry Let's just say you want to delete these things right here And move this to the right a bit. You can just move this to the right as well Do you see what I'm saying? Or maybe this is a bit too much You can move it back down here and then you can just move this to the right as well. Do you see what I'm trying to tell you? So uh, you can it's completely customizable to however you want. Okay So now you have this ribbon shape effect here this is the easy part now. Click on insert, click on shapes, and then click on a circle. All right, make sure the circle is perfectly, you know, uh, adjusted in terms of aspect ratio by going onto the format tab where the circle is still clicked, click on height and just change this to one, one. You can change it to whatever you'd like later. Click on no fill and then shape outline white and then make the shape outline weight six points. And then once you drag that onto the canvas here, you can see that it looks pretty neat. Um, 
if you'd like to reduce the size of the shape without you know trying to fiddle around and trying to say oh my god it's not perfectly symmetrical hold down shift from one of the of one of the corners here and just drag it downwards so that you maintain the aspect ratio of the shape and then just bring that up wherever you'd like so i'm going to bring mine here okay uh once you have that shape just type in your numbers i'm going to put 01 here i'm going to change the font to my favorite font called pan ton black cap so whoever made that shout out to you okay so now what you want to do is you want to put in your text so you want to click on insert click on text box and then make this text box come over the ribbon right here and just click on you know what sorry type in whatever you'd like so i'm just putting in blah 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 um and let's just highlight this and just make it easier for all of us really just paste that all over the place like so highlight it all make it white reduce the font size and what I like to do as well with my sort of step-by-step -step models is make a type for each one so that the audience can engage with it more. So for example, I can call this, you know, the blah face or whatever it might be and make the top part bold. You know, it's a bit more uh, clearer to the audience when they're trying to understand what you're trying to uh, get across. Um, so once you have that text box here, you want to position it like as best as possible. The best way to do that is when you right click on the box here and click on size and position, um, you want to click on the text box option right there and click on do not auto fit and the reason why I'm saying do not auto fit before I click that option is because if you want to spread it out to the text box you cannot actually do that as you can see do you see what I'm trying to do I'm trying to bring that up here so I can perfectly position it that's not possible but if I click on do not auto fit I can actually bring that up a lot easier right and then once I have that I can click on align text and click on middle that way I know everything is perfectly aligned Okay, now what do we do? We're going to click on the circle, we're going to click on the text, and we're just going to control V, control, uh, sorry, control C, control V, and bring that down again. Make sure that the margins on the right side are touching uh, the margins of the rectangle as well, and just repeat the process like so. There we go. Just change the numbers to whatever it might be. So two and three and four. And now you're done. Check it out. You have your own ribbon model thing. It is so great to teach you guys. We are up to our fourth video. We have got 350 plus subscribers. Don't stop you guys. You know, we're going hard with this. We're pushing it forward. We actually love you guys. Honest to God, if we could buy you all a coffee or something and, and you know, sit down and chat with you, we'd absolutely love it. You know, you guys have given us so much feedback that we're always so pumped to make you to make you videos. Thank you all for watching. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. Um, do what you can and, and tell your friends about this, tell your colleagues about this, tell your boss about this, whatever it might be. Uh, we just want to help out anyone who thinks that it'd be good to um, make awesome PowerPoint slides. Have a great week, boys and girls.